Hello and welcome to this deep dive into the latest updates from Aptera, the groundbreaking electric vehicle that's setting new standards for efficiency, sustainability, and innovative design. If you've ever wondered how a car could run almost entirely on solar power, and whether that's a feasible solution for the future of electric vehicles, then you're in the right place. Before we dive into the details, let me take a moment to thank all of you for tuning in today. Your support keeps us going. And if you find this content valuable, we'd appreciate it if you could hit that subscribe button. It helps us bring you the latest insights on cutting-edge technologies like Aptera, so don't forget to subscribe and stay updated. Now, let's jump right into the world of Aptera and explore how this vehicle might be revolutionizing the EV landscape. The Solar-Powered Dream Why Aptera is different The first question that comes to mind when we think about Aptera is, why don't more electric cars have solar panels? The common response is that solar panels are expensive and not powerful enough to charge a car effectively. But that's not the whole story. Take the average 100-watt solar panel. In one hour of direct sunlight, it generates roughly 100 watt-hours of energy. That sounds great, until you realize that, in a car like the Tesla Model 3, which requires around 200 watt-hours per mile, this panel would only give you half a mile of range after an hour in the sun. So why is Aptera covering its vehicle in solar panels? It's simple. Aptera isn't just any EV. It's designed from the ground up with efficiency in mind. The company isn't trying to make solar power the sole method of charging. Rather, they are using it as a key component of an ultra-efficient design. This makes the use of solar panels much more practical than in other electric vehicles. How Aptera Maximizes Efficiency Aptera's solar panels generate about 700 watts of power in optimal sunlight conditions. This means you can gain up to 40 miles, that is 64 kilometers of range per day, from the sun alone, which is more than enough for most daily commutes. While other EVs might struggle to benefit from solar charging due to their inefficiencies, Aptera makes it work by using significantly less energy to travel the same distance. To understand how, we need to look at Aptera's efficiency. This vehicle is capable of achieving an astonishing 10 miles per kilowatt hour of energy consumption. Compare this to a standard EV like the Tesla Model 3, which averages around 5 miles per kilowatt hour, and the difference becomes clear. Aptera can go much farther on the same amount of energy, making solar charging not just feasible, but highly effective. If you think about it, that's equivalent to getting 337 miles per gallon in a gasoline-powered car. In terms of energy usage, it's in a league of its own. Why Aptera's design is key to its efficiency. Now, let's talk about how Aptera achieves this level of efficiency. The answer lies in its unique, aerodynamic design. The vehicle's body is shaped like a teardrop, with covered wheels and a tapered rear end. This results in an incredibly low drag coefficient of 0.13, making it one of the most aerodynamically efficient vehicles on the market. For comparison, even some of the most efficient luxury EVs, like the Lucid Air or Mercedes EQS, have drag coefficients around 0.2. The lower the drag coefficient, the less energy the vehicle needs to move, which is why Aptera is so efficient at utilizing both solar power and traditional charging. Charging Options – From Solar to Fast Charging While solar charging is a huge selling point, Aptera offers several ways to keep the battery topped up. Let's break these down. 1. Solar Charging As mentioned, Aptera's integrated solar panels can give you up to 40 miles of range per day. This is ideal for daily commuting without ever needing to plug in. However, solar charging is just one part of the equation. 2. Plug-in Solar Power This is where things get even more interesting. Aptera allows for external solar panels to be connected, which can increase the total solar input by up to 1 kilowatt. 
This brings the total potential solar charging power to nearly 1,700 watts, giving you almost 97 miles of range per day, depending on the sunlight conditions. 3. Standard Wall Outlet – Type 1 Charging Aptera's remarkable efficiency extends to traditional charging methods as well. Using a standard household outlet known as a Type 1 charger, the Aptera can gain around 13 miles of range per hour of charging in the US. In regions with higher voltage outlets like Europe or Australia, this can be as high as 37 miles per hour. This means you don't need an expensive home charging setup to keep your Aptera going. A simple wall outlet will suffice for most people's daily needs. 4. Type 2. Charging For those who need faster charging, the Aptera will be compatible with Type 2 chargers, which are more commonly found in public charging stations or available as a home installation option. In the US, the Aptera can charge at 6.6 kW, providing around 57 miles of range per hour. In Europe, this could go as high as 109 miles per hour with an 11 kW charger. Eindavde DC Fast Charging The final and most exciting option is DC Fast Charging, which transforms the Aptera from a commuter vehicle into a long-distance touring machine. Initially, the company wasn't going to include fast charging in its launch edition model, but after feedback from the community, Aptera reversed its decision and now offers 50 to 60 kilowatt DC fast charging. This means you can recharge up to 477 miles of range in under an hour, making long road trips a breeze. The future looks even more promising, as Aptera is developing a 100 kilowatt fast charging option for future models, which would allow you to gain 1,000 miles of range in about an hour. The shift from hub motors to Vitesco technology. Another key update in Aptera's journey is its decision to switch from hub motors to a more traditional front-wheel drive system using Vitesco's EMR3 drive unit. Initially, Aptera planned to use hub motors for each wheel, which would have eliminated the need for a gearbox and provided independent power to each wheel. However, the switch to Vitesco's EMR3 system has several advantages. First, it's more powerful, generating up to 150 kilowatt of power compared to the hub motor's 127 kilowatts. Second, it's less complex and easier to manufacture, which should help Aptera speed up production and meet delivery deadlines. The front-wheel drive configuration also makes sense given Aptera's three-wheel design. The larger front area provides more room for a traditional motor, while the rear wheel doesn't need a power unit at all. This reduces weight and improves the vehicle's balance. What does this mean for Aptera's future? These updates show that Aptera is serious about bringing a high-performance, ultra-efficient electric vehicle to the market. Their move to a more conventional motor system paired with their commitment to solar charging and overall vehicle efficiency positions them as a key player in the EV revolution. The question now is whether Aptera can successfully ramp up production. While the company has made impressive strides in developing a working prototype and refining its design, mass production is a whole different challenge. Securing the necessary funding and scaling production will be crucial for Aptera's long-term success a game-changer for long-distance electric travel. What sets up Terra apart from other EVs is its potential to redefine long-distance travel. With its efficient use of energy, rapid charging capabilities, and solar power, Aptera could make road trips and cross-country journeys much more accessible. Imagine driving up to 1,000 miles on a single charge with the 100 kWh battery version, recharging at a DC fast charger in just over an hour and even gaining additional range throughout the day from sunlight. This could drastically change how we think about electric travel, reducing the need for frequent stops and giving drivers the freedom to explore farther without worrying about finding the next charging station. Now Thel Focus will be on the safety aspects of the Aptera. With its lightweight design and unique three-wheel structure, some people have raised concerns about how it compares to the safety of conventional four-wheel vehicles. Are these concerns valid? Or does Aptera's cutting-edge technology compensate for the differences? Stick with us as we explore these topics.
How Aptera Approaches Safety Let's begin by examining how Aptera integrates safety into its vehicle design. According to the company, they've adopted a unique approach by using aerospace-grade composite materials. These materials reduce the vehicle's overall weight while maintaining structural integrity. Aptera claims that their vehicle is both lightweight and safe, combining advanced aerodynamics and an efficient powertrain to set their solar electric vehicle apart. Aptera highlights that their combination of lightweight construction and superior aerodynamics not only improves the vehicle's efficiency but also contributes to its safety. They describe their SEV as using composites that are stronger than steel, which ensures passenger protection without adding excess weight. In other words, they assert that you can have both a lightweight and a safe vehicle thanks to their design approach. But is this just marketing talk? Or do these claims have real substance behind them? We'll break down these elements one by one to see if Aptera's SEV lives up to its safety promises. Lightweight design versus safety concerns. One of the most common concerns raised about the Aptera SEV is its lightweight design. Many believe that heavier vehicles perform better in crashes. This perception stems from the fact that larger, heavier cars are generally thought to absorb impact forces better, protecting passengers during collisions. So, how does Aptera address these concerns? For perspective, the 60 kilowatt hour battery version of the Aptera weighs approximately 1,800 pounds, which is less than half the weight of a Tesla Model 3. The standard range Model 3 weighs around 3,582 pounds, while the performance version weighs up to 4,155 pounds. This significant weight difference raises questions about Aptera's crash performance. However, Aptera addresses these concerns with its advanced composite materials, which are reportedly stronger than steel. These materials form the vehicle's passenger cell, engineered to be more robust than many traditional vehicles today. The structural design of the Aptera SEV draws inspiration from Formula One race cars, known for their lightweight but highly protective designs. The SEV's cage-like structure is built to protect passengers in a crash, ensuring that despite being lighter, the vehicle doesn't compromise on safety. Proven safety, measures, and testing. So, what has Aptera done to prove its safety? The original Aptera model underwent Federal Motor Vehicle Safety Standards, FMVSS, and National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, NHTSA tests, successfully passing all the necessary evaluations. Aptera is confident that their new production versions will perform similarly when subjected to these rigorous tests. Aptera combines advanced materials with thoughtful design and proven safety principles from high-speed environments like race cars to challenge the belief that lighter vehicles are inherently less safe. Their goal is to meet or exceed standard safety benchmarks, though it's important to note that these expectations are still based on internal testing and simulations rather than independent crash tests. Until third-party crash tests are conducted, Aptera's safety claims remain grounded in these in-house assessments. Airbags and seat belts. When it comes to airbags, Aptera does not cut corners. The vehicle comes equipped with front and side airbags and three-point seat belts, standard features in most modern vehicles. These safety measures play a crucial role in reducing injury risks during collisions. Interestingly, Aptera has designed its airbag system to deploy during side impacts if there is enough forward momentum, offering more comprehensive protection than traditional airbag setups. The driver's airbag is integrated into the steering wheel, similar to the design used in most vehicles today. Beyond traditional safety measures, Aptera has also incorporated advanced technology to enhance both the driving experience and vehicle safety. One of the standout features is its co-pilot system, developed in collaboration with a leading Japanese automotive manufacturer. This system allows Aptera to compete with the autonomous driving capabilities of major brands like Tesla, BMW, and Audi. The co-pilot system isn't just for convenience. It adds an extra layer of safety by assisting drivers with automated driving technologies that reduce the risk of accidents caused by human error. This positions Aptera as not only an eco-friendly option but also a tech-savvy vehicle 
offering cutting-edge safety features. The co-pilot system enhances Aptera's safety by helping drivers maintain awareness of their surroundings. It can monitor traffic, detect obstacles, and provide real-time feedback, contributing to a safer driving experience, especially in complex road conditions. By integrating this system, Aptera bridges the gap between its lightweight design and the need for modern safety technology. One of the most unique aspects of the Aptera SEV is its solar panel integration. These panels are built directly into the vehicle's exterior, allowing it to harness solar power for daily driving needs. While this eco-friendly feature is impressive, some potential buyers have raised concerns about the practicality and safety of having solar panels on the vehicle's roof and body. Could these panels compromise the vehicle's durability or pose safety risks in the event of an accident? Aptera assures buyers that their solar panels are both durable and highly efficient. They are designed to withstand the rigors of daily driving while providing enough energy to power short commutes. For many drivers, this solar power could significantly reduce the need for frequent charging, making the Aptera nearly self-sufficient for daily use. However, there are still questions about whether the solar panels can maintain consistent performance over time, especially in less sunny regions or during winter months. These are factors that Aptera will need to address as more drivers put the SEV to the test in real-world conditions. Another key difference between Aptera and conventional vehicles lies in its safety cell design. Traditional cars use heavy steel and metal frames to protect occupants during accidents. However, Aptera takes a different approach by using aerospace-grade composites, which are lighter yet incredibly strong. The safety cell is inspired by Formula One race cars, designed to withstand high-speed impacts while protecting passengers. This protective cage absorbs impact energy during a crash, redistributing it to minimize harm to occupants. Aptera's design prioritizes both strength and weight reduction, creating a vehicle that performs efficiently without compromising safety. In conventional vehicles, crumple zones play a vital role in absorbing impact forces during collisions. These areas are designed to deform and absorb energy, protecting passengers by dispersing crash forces away from the cabin. Aptera's approach differs. It uses a solid shell made from aerospace composites instead of traditional crumple zones. This stiff, protective shell is engineered to maintain the integrity of the passenger compartment during an accident. According to Aptera, the materials used in the shell are up to seven times stronger than steel or aluminum, providing a significant safety advantage. However, until independent crash tests are performed, these claims remain theoretical. To sum it up, Aptera is pushing the boundaries of what's possible with electric vehicles. Its focus on extreme efficiency, solar power, and rapid charging offers a glimpse into the future of transportation. While challenges remain, particularly around scaling production and getting vehicles into customers' hands, the innovations we've seen so far make Aptera one of the most exciting developments in the EV world. If you're as excited about Aptera as we are, make sure to keep an eye on the latest developments. And of course, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more updates on cutting-edge technologies like this. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.